As an island nation, it's no surprise that Japan has plenty of beautiful beaches everywhere. Japan's beaches are always clean, with emerald green waters and soft white sands to please everybody. With plenty of activities available, from just soaking up the sun to boat tours to snorkeling, they are also very popular as a summer getaway for city dwellers. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best beaches in Japan. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now let's cut to the chase. At 10. Miyako Island Beaches Miyako Island has a reputation for being home to some of Japan's most beautiful beaches. One of the country's most popular snorkeling and diving destinations, the island also benefits from mild weather that keeps the beaches open all year round. One of the island's many beaches, Maihama Beach and Yoshino Beach are two of the best. Yoshino Beach is famous for its world-class snorkeling, as it's located near a massive coral reef with great marine life. Maihama Beach is the preferred destination for water sports, including kayak and boat rentals. Both beaches offer cotton white soft sands and deep blue waters, and both have showers, a rental shop for equipment and toilets available. At 9. Kujakuri Beach Kujakuri Beach is one of Japan's longest beaches, a 60-kilometer stretch of sandy coastline in the Chiba Prefecture, very close to Tokyo. While most beaches in Japan consist of small sections of sand in capes or bays, Kujakuri Beach is straight, flat and open to the sea. As the beach has no reef and the Pacific waves crash right into the coastline, the conditions for surfing are excellent. When strong currents come in, sand dunes up to 6 meters high form on the beach. The water at Kujakuri remains warm well into October, making the beach perfect for swimming even after the summer fades away. Despite its size, Kujakuri Beach remains mostly underdeveloped, with just a few high-rise hotels in the distance and small shops and local restaurants on the streets around it. At 8. Amani Oshima Island Located right between Kyushu and Okinawa, two of Japan's largest islands, the Amami Island, is home to several beaches. Surrounded by coral reefs and with a background of volcanic mountains covered in deep green forest, the beaches on Amami are particularly stunning. Beach season on the island lasts from May to October, but even in the heat of summer, the islands remain mostly empty. There are few amenities here, with public restrooms and parking lots even being the only thing available around. Secluded, quiet and clean, these are the right beaches for people looking for calm and perhaps clear waters for swimming or snorkeling. Tomori Beach, the most famous of all the beaches on the island, offers great snorkeling, while Kurasaki Beach is the go-to destination for divers. Because it's not accessible via public transportation, Yadoribama Beach gets fewer visitors and it's the preferred destination for campers. At 7. Tsunoshima Island The island of Tsunoshima is connected to the mainland by the massive 1,780 meters long Tsunoshima Bridge. Though the island is small at just 4 square kilometers, the turquoise waters and white beaches here more than make up for its size. Reaching the main beach requires a tricky walk on a narrow road away from the parking lot. Make your way here and you'll be rewarded with clean sands, a great view of the bridge and more than likely lots of solitude. That's because this small beach doesn't have any facilities, so most visitors head to the bigger beach on the other side of the bridge. The north side beach offers showers and toilets as well as areas for barbecuing. It's a favorite destination to watch the sunset over the bridge and to swim as the water is calm and shallow. If you have time, you can continue on to explore other beaches on the island. Some are small and almost completely hidden, while others are wider and full of activities during the summer months. At 6. Odaiba Beach Odaiba might not be the most stunning beach in Japan, but as Tokyo's only official beach, it's still one of the most visited. Artificially created to sit right on Tokyo Bay, the 800-meter-long Odaiba Beach is surrounded by shopping malls, a pier and plenty of amenities to keep visitors happy. While the water here is not great for swimming, the golden sands of Odaiba are perfect for evening walks, watching the sunset and just relaxing in the sun. 
During summer, the city organises beach volleyball and sailing competitions. And in July, people stop by to see paper lanterns lit up during the Matsuri Festival. Odaiba Beach is the perfect half-day escape for residents and visitors in Tokyo, especially if you want to combine it with some dining and shopping. Next up at 5, Shirahama Onsen. The Shirahama Resort area has been known for centuries as one of Japan's most famous hot springs destinations. However, this beautiful region in the Wakayama Prefecture also has plenty of stunning beaches to offer. The 700 meter long Shirahama Beach offers soft white sands and gentle turquoise waters, plus a number of open air baths so you can have the best of both worlds. The beach is usually packed during July and August. People come here to surf, snorkel or simply to enjoy the sun. This is also the area's most developed beach. You'll find everything from food stands to rental shops just steps from the sand. Walk to the end of the beach to find a beautiful Shirahama ginger red gate on top of a rock. Nearby Shirahama Chuo and Sutuora beaches are smaller and slightly less busy. However, these beaches offer plenty of restaurants and pensions in the vicinity, so they're a great destination if you want to spend a night by the beach. At 4, Zushi Beach. Tokyo's closest natural beach is surprisingly quiet most of the time. Once upon a time, this beach had a bad reputation as it is located right next to a US military base. It had become the go-to place for late night noise. Now clean and with very specific restrictions in place, no sound systems, no tattoos allowed, it has become a popular destination to watch the sunset. For those looking for something fun to do, the cliffs around offer plenty of short trails and you can visit one of the many cafes and restaurants near the beach for a quick buy to eat. During July and August, lots of paddle boarders and windsurfers arrive to enjoy the soft waves, but June and September are quieter and perfect for swimming or just sunbathing if the weather agrees. At 3, Kamakura Beaches. Located just an hour down the coast from Tokyo and a favourite among city dwellers, the Kamakura Beaches offer the perfect sandy escape. Because of their location, the beach season here is very short, only July and August, and the shoreline gets crowded once kids are out of school. But if you don't have time to travel to other beaches farther away, the Kamakura beaches are still a great choice. Plus the area gets bonus points because you can see Mount Fuji while lying on the sand. There are three main beaches in Kamakura. Uegahama and Zaimakuza are the two most popular ones and the busiest. They offer all kinds of marine activities including surfing, flyboarding and wakeboarding. These two beaches are right next to each other, offering a one kilometer stretch of golden sand perfect for swimming and sunbathing. Visitors can rent equipment, buy food and drinks or sit at one of the many beachside cafes. The most distant beach is Zaimakosa Beach, popular for sea kayaking, paddleboarding and water biking. While there are fewer amenities here, the beach is also less crowded and a quieter escape. At 2, Okinawa Beaches. The Okinawa Prefecture has a tropical climate, making it Japan's best area for beach activities. In addition to remote beaches and great coral reefs, the area also offers the longest beach season in the country. Most beaches in Okinawa open in March and don't close until October, with many staying open year-round. While the most famous beaches are great for snorkeling and diving, the most remote ones, especially the ones near the Kerama and Mayako Islands, are a better choice if you're after more secluded shorelines. Of the over 100 beaches in Okinawa, Manza is one of the most famous. Part of the ANA Intercontinental Manza Beach Resort, the beach is open to everyone and offers plenty of beach activities, including kayak and banana boat rentals, swimming and kayaking. The popular Cape Manzamo is nearby and can be reached on foot, a great idea if you want to catch a breathtaking view of the sunset over the China Sea. Emerald Beach, where the famous Churaomi Aquarium is located, and Kuri Beach and its scenic rock formation that resembles two hearts popping out of the water are also popular destinations for beachgoers. And finally, at one, Jodogahama Beach. Located on the Rikushu coast, this small beach is flanked by pine forests and volcanic white rocks. The name Jodogahama 
translates to pure land beach, a reference to the scenic beauty of this hidden inlet. This is a great beach for swimming, with crystal clear blue waters and calm waves. The beach itself is rocky and not great for digging your toes in the sand, but the beauty and quiet atmosphere of the area more than makes up for it. The nearby Jodokohama Visitor Center is a great place to learn more about the area or to grab a map of the nearby hiking trails. For those looking for a more relaxing activity, a number of cruises depart from the beach to tour the nearby waters and islands, as well as the famous Blue Cave. And there you have the top 10 best beaches in Japan. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.